The topic that I decided to look deeper into was the long-standing question of Jewel or Soren. This is an important subject matter to me because I have many friends that have dedicated their lives to vaping, and I wanted to see what choices led them to this point, whether it was the Jewel or Soren. After trying to figure out for a while what my specific issue question would be, I finally came up with this. Other than the addictive nicotine chemical, what makes a Jewel and Soren most appealing to a wide range of people? I conducted my research by simply approaching people I saw in the lobby of Darley North and South and also in the Village Dining Center, also known as the VC. The first part of the survey was my quantitative data through the microbit. The question was Jewel, Soren, or neither. On the microbit, the options were A for Jewel, B for Soren, and Shake for neither. After that, I asked the participants if they wanted to say why on a separate anonymous piece of paper if they chose one of the vaping devices. This part of the survey could be described as quantitative. The results I saw from the quantitative data showed that 26 out of 53 people chose neither, that they do not Jewel or Soren. That's about 49% of people. Out of the people that chose Jewel or Soren, 16 out of 27 chose Jewel, which is 59%, while 11 out of 27 chose Soren, which is about 41%. So we can see here that more people do in fact Jewel than Soren. I then gathered all 27 open responses and grouped them into affinity diagrams. I summarized the answers in order to get the most basic but essential point that they were trying to make. For the jewel, the categories were smoother hit, which four people said, hits harder, which six people said, feels cleaner, which two people said, easier to charge, which three people said, and never tried the Soren, which two people said. My Soren advocates were lumped into these categories from what their answers said. More flavors, which four people said, more appealing colors, which one person said, longer battery life, which two people said, and bigger pods, which four people said. These categories give me an idea of why people prefer either vape and what the main reason is for each. These categories give me an idea of why people prefer either vape and what the main reason is for this. What I learned from my quantitative and qualitative data together is that although there are many different reasons to get either the Joule or Soren, the Joule prevails. It may have smaller pods, but these smaller pods have 10 more milligrams of nicotine than its competitor Soren. This accounts for the largest group of the affinity di diagram in which Joule users prefer it over the Soren because it hits harder. This data goes to show that people may care about battery life, etc., but when it comes down to it, people generally choose the nicotine content over anything else. If I was to continue this project, a new question I would ask would be, how prevalent is nicotine in your daily life?